the corner. Good morning everybody, it's Monday morning. It's frosty AF. We've just been sat in the car for a few minutes defrosting the car. Uh, it's very cold out there. Very chilly. We were not prepared for the chilliness today. It's Monday morning. Start of a new week. Feeling pretty good today actually. I slept quite well last night and appetite wise, I think because I ate properly yesterday, I'm feeling okay this morning. I could only stomach half a cereal bar this morning for breakfast, but um, it's better than not being able to stomach anything at all. I'm taking what I can get. Time to get our get our week started. My hair is so busy. It's because my hair frizzes up in the cold and I've run out of like antifreeze leaving conditioner stuff. I should probably ask for some more for Christmas actually. But yeah, my hair's really poofy because it's chilly out and it's just been washed so there's no natural moisture to moisten my hair. What else have we got planned on this fine Monday morning? Nothing really. It's a day in the office. My to-do list is actually incredibly short today because the stuff that I usually start my day with on a Monday morning, I did on Friday because there were technical difficulties that made it impossible for me to not do that day, essentially. Or stupid for not me to not do that day. So, don't really know how I'm gonna start my day today. It's interesting. Might have a nice relaxing morning with not a lot to do, which is always nice. Right, let's kick off our week, shall we? Chris is frozen, that's why he's not said anything. He's like the Tin Man at the beginning of The Wizard of Oz before he's oiled up. He's just, he's there, he's present, but he can't move his jaw, his frozen shell. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, catch up with you at the end of the work day. Well, hello, it's pre-evening. <laughs> Happy pre-evening. Yeah, I've just been getting myself ready for the tomorrow. Got my lunch ready for tomorrow. Did slippers litter tray, you know, all that fun, fun stuff. Just been getting ready. I'm now gonna de-make up, get back into my gym jams and crash for the rest of the evening. It's gonna be a pretty chill evening today. It was a good day at work. It was productive, which is nice. I had stuff to be getting up to despite feeling a little lost first thing, but that's fine. Sorry, my fingers suddenly, suddenly felt like a bug was crawling on it. It wasn't, my fingers are just weird. So, yesterday, well no, yeah, over the weekend, I rediscovered this throat soother suite. I've known about them for a while, and then I rediscovered them over the weekend, decided to order some. Basically, I've had something wrong with my throat. If you've been watching my channel for the past few months, on top of my appetite problems, I've also had something wrong with my throat. Um, and we're still investigating that, although I'm pretty sure my doctors have now forgotten about that problem because they're focusing more on the appetite problem now, which is a bit more pressing, but means I have to re-get in touch with them regarding my throat problems. <laughs> anyway, I found these throat soother sweets like online and decided to order them and there was an option of getting them in a packet or getting them in a jar, like a bigger jar. Um, and I was like, well, a plastic bag has got to be thrown away. I could reuse a plastic jar if I wanted to. And like they even had like on Amazon, like an image of someone holding a jar. They were holding it like this. And like I had in my head, I was like, yeah, that's, that's a pretty sizable jar. I like bulk buying, so that's that's decent. I don't mind getting a slightly bigger jar. It arrived this morning. It's huge! It's like bigger than my head. There's so many. That's, I just, I did not think it would be this, I mean, don't get me wrong, there was a guy standing there on Amazon. Like there was like an image on the thing with a guy like this saying, this is the size of the jar, but it looked more like this, which is what I was expecting. I know it's not a massive difference, but like, it's also so fat. It's a square jar. It's not like round, it's square. It's very big. But uh, yeah, if you need any uh, menthol throat soothers, throat and chest, hit me up, because I've apparently got loads. I've never had them before either, so I hope I like them because I've ordered a lot. Yeah, I've seen these recommended years ago and they came up in a video I was watching on YouTube the other day 
And I was like, oh yeah, this maybe I can get that for my throat because I've run out. I've, the ones I've been using are like just the same with these basic kind of throat soothers, you know. Um, so hopefully we have to do something with this. It is aniseed, which I don't mind aniseed. Aniseed and eucalyptus menthol sweets. Are they chewy? No, they're not. Interesting. Hmm. I like them, but I like aniseed. And I know lots of people don't. I don't think Chris would ever have any of these, which means that <laughs> this is just my stash. This will last me like a good year, I think. Jesus Christ. I like them. They're good. Maybe it will solve my many a throat problem. Who knows? I've given up trying to figure out what's wrong with me nowadays. I just am embracing. Embracing everything that's wrong with me. But yeah. I'm going to take off my makeup, get into my gym jams, crush for the evening, and I will catch up with you before I have to edit you later today. My tongue. Does this make my tongue go black? No. <laughs> but yeah. Anyone wants a sweet, a throat soother. <laughs> Hit me up, because I've got plenty. Good evening, everybody. It's later in the day. I am just coming to end this vlog because I need to edit you. Do I? Do I need to edit? <laughs> yeah! She's been really weird recently. She's like really annoyed with me that I'm not giving all of my attention to her 24 7. Huh? Like normally she's content just sitting beside me and I'll always make sure every single day there's like a period of time where I sit and she can just sit on my lap and we can just have a nice cuddle for an hour. That's never enough. Is it? You want more? So when I'm like pacing around my room thinking or doing other things trying to take off my makeup she gets really annoyed with me and it's really sad. Why can't you be content with the little cuddles that we have, huh? Why is that not good enough? Anyways, good evening everybody. It's the end of the day. I am feeling very tired, ready to pass out for the evening. Just have my dinner. My appetite's actually been really good today. Um, I struggled a lot with breakfast, but lunch and dinner, I managed to eat basically all of it and didn't start feeling nauseous or like, you know, like I need to stop eating until I'd basically finished. So I only had to force feed myself a teeny bit towards the end. So that's really good. Definitely a stark contrast from last week. Um, but yeah, with, again, I'm not like anticipating that it's ending this illness because, you know, the, it's fluctuated this entire month. It's gradually gotten worse in general, but there have been good days, good periods within that. So I'm putting off as one of that for now. I might as well do all the blood tests and the sample stuff that I need to get done um, just in case now that I've got it all booked in and ready to go. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I now need to edit you um, and go to bed. It's been a really good Monday actually. It's felt very productive. I feel like I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I'm ready now to go to bed. It's a successful day. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So now nicely push. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.